Oh, it's on. Hi, everyone. It's Veronica. Today, I'm going to cover a hunger hormone, ghrelin. Yes, it sounds weird, right? Ghrelin hormone. Maybe some people already know about ghrelin hormone, but maybe some people, they don't because I didn't know before long ago. And why, and especially now, when you think about the ghrelin, the name is weird, but name is not important. What is important? What it does to our body. So especially if you have experience like yo-yo dieting, it's very hard to keep your weight off. And so you want to check this hormone. It's very important. <laughs> it's one of the fat burning hormone, but it's mainly it's what we call the hunger hormone. Before we get into ghrelin hormone, what it's about, and I'm going to explain to you very simply why it is so important, this hormone, so you can actually maintain your ideal body weight. Uh, let's say the summer is around the corner. So, for example, okay, I want to feel good and I want to look good. So, I need to lose 20 pounds, for example. So what do, you, what do you do first when you want to lose 20 pounds? Okay, I got to restrict my calorie. So you go on diet. And then second thing, you think, okay, I got to start to do exercise. Or if you already do some exercise, you say, I'm going to increase my exercise, the routine. So that's how you start. Simply, we always say, eat less and move more. That's how we start. So, of course, it doesn't matter you have like, you know, the food source is not even good. But if you restrict your calorie for, let's say, you have a 900 calorie or max 1,200 calorie. And if it's a guy and just a, a little bit big man, if they uh, strict like 1,500 or even under 2,000 calorie, you're going to lose weight the first week, no matter what, because the body designed that way. The first week you're going to lose a lot. So every morning when you wake up, oh, today I lost two pounds. Oh, yeah, next day I lost a pound. And you get motivated, even though maybe you don't really enjoy the diet. But anyway, you lose weight, so you get motivated. So you keep on going. And then, boom, what happened? A week later, or even a little bit more, like a 10 days, even some people like two weeks later, weight doesn't move anymore. So you're like, oh, okay, today I didn't lose any weight. Okay, maybe tomorrow. So yeah, maybe if uh, you're a female, you're on PMS and you're holding water. Some people maybe didn't sleep enough. So like uh, next day when you go on scale, you're going to say, okay, I did a diet. I didn't do anything bad and I did my cardio and exercise and I gained a pound. The right there, your day change, your mood change because uh, you feel like, uh, no, I'm working hard, but I don't have any reward. So you, f you get discouraged. So what happened? And one or two days later, okay, you get tired. And then by then when you go grocery shopping for your food, and then you start to smelling those, you know, the bread and those comfort food. And most of people, you know what, it's a Friday. I'm going to start my diet Monday. So you just give your craving because you fight with the food because you feel so deprived and then you uh, crave for some food that it's not belong in your diet. So ended up what happened, you gain or back your weight that you lost. And then I see some people, they even gained a few extra pounds on the top of your original weight. So when you think about your uh, the final result, your body weight actually is heavier than before you actually start your diet. So then what you do? And sooner or later, you start back to restrict diet again. So it becomes the yo-yo. So there's no way you're going to maintain your ideal body weight and you are going to do endless yo-yo diet. This is just a vicious cycle. So instead of keep on doing back and forth, the key, the solution is you have to fix this ghrelin hormone. So you don't have to fight with the food and you don't have to feel like deprived. And I'm going to show you how we can do that. So I'm going to share with you the screen and let's get started here. Yeah. 
All right, right here. So, so what is the ghrelin? The ghrelin is a simply it's a hunger hormone. It makes you feel hungry. So, you know, the thing is, like, even two decades ago, we didn't even know we have this hormone in our body until the 1999, when the doctor, there's a two doctors, Kojima and the uh, Kangawa, the Japanese doctor, they actually found this hormone and they reported in 1999 and they make this name the reason why because this hormone is long word i'm going to explain to you gross releasing peptide hormone so that's why they wrote ghrelin so it's a peptide hormone it made with 28 amino acid and where we make this hormone is in our stomach especially when your stomach is empty. So when you look at it, like uh, for example, you have this experience uh, anytime, especially your, before your meal time, before you eat, um, your stomach is empty and what happened? Your ghrelin hormone level goes up. And then after you eating, ghrelin levels go down because your stomach is full. That's how it works. So how they do? First of all, when your stomach is empty, you produce the, this ghrelin hormone, and then this hormone tell your brain, the hypothalamus, hey, we have no food. That means we have no energy. So your brain hypothalamus goes, oh, okay, I got it. So what it does, okay, increase the appetite and the blood sugar level, and eventually even your body weight. So make sure that you know, you have enough energy. So then um, after you ate, like after eating, um, you don't have much ghrelin hormone because it's dropped down the level. And then your hypothalamus is like, okay, that's fine. Now we have enough food. That means we have enough energy. So what your brain does, like, okay, stop eating. That's how you stop eating your food. That's what the ghrelin hormone, it's their job to do it. So the main purpose of ghrelin is to make us feel hungry and then uh, feed uh, the body fewer. That's it. That's all they do because the main reason is that they just want to survive. Like other hormones, like insulin and the leptin and all other hormones, they just want to survive. So that's why they are doing this. And a study actually showed that, you know, the people have a higher ghrelin hormone level. They actually increase the body fat mass. They study is they inject actually ghrelin hormone, they actually gaining weight and they increase the body fat mass. So if you want to maintain your ideal body weight, what you have to do, you have to lower your ghrelin hormone level. So you don't have to fight with the food and you don't have that, you know, like, oh, I want to have this food. I want to have this food, but I cannot have it. You know what? Life is more than just to think about food and then think about your body weight. So we want to have freedom. So you, let's fix this one. Then how we can fix this? I'm going to show you. Right here, how to balance the ghrelin level. The first, very important. They study about this. Like, you have to have more protein. But when I talk about the protein, it's not just a conventional protein. It's like a quality quality protein. It's a good source. It has to be at the good source. Anything I talk about the food here, nutrition, it has comes from the good source. So you have to add more protein in your meal, especially when you have a breakfast, add more protein. And uh, lunch and dinner, the same thing. That's very important. It's going to lower your ghrelin level and then especially fiber. Do you know it's like a fiber is so important for your um, intestine as well, for your metabolism and then anything, your insulin lowering insulin level and the leptin hormone, the same thing as a ghrelin hormone. You have to have enough fiber. Where do you get from? Have, I always say, have your vegetable. If you have a pound of vegetable every day, you cover all the fibers, that's more than enough, and especially if you can have a raw vegetable then it's going to lower your ghrelin level. And please avoid the alcohol. 
it also studied when you consumed alcohol, it raised your ghrelin level. Okay, I cannot even pronounce this uh, hunger hormone. <laughs> For example, do you have experience after you go uh, drink with your friends and then you had enough alcohol and then it's like um, you feel you feel like you want to have some greasy food. You have pizza or hamburger. You gotta eat something. It's because this alcohol brings your ghrelin level high. That's why. So you avoid alcohol if you wanna fix this hormone. And please avoid all simple carbohydrate. I'm talking about all simple carbohydrate. Number one, sugar, and even fructose, and all the bread, pasta biscuit, cookies, and anything, the dessert, you have to avoid that. And remember this one, I always mention about avoid the simple carbohydrate, the reason why the sugar, if you eat sugar, you know how much your entire other hormone, include the ghrelin hormone, they have to work so hard. So if you want to balance the hormone, you have to avoid this simple carbohydrate, unless your hormone is so balanced, and then you know you already reach your ideal body weight, and you want to use that simple carbohydrate for your after workout, and then you know what I mean, just to give that and as a treat, and once in a while you have just a treat dessert, that's fine. But if you have this hormone imbalance, you make sure that you avoid 100% altogether simple carbohydrate. And omega-3 is very important, and you have to have a quality, the good source of omega-3, and especially this one I have to tell you. Regular meal time, it's very important. It's nothing to do with intermittent fasting. If you eat three meals per day, not any time. Make sure that you set up your time and that you train your body. When you continue every single day and have a regular meal time, you are going to balance your ghrelin level. And please avoid the low calorie diet. Please, this is like horrible. It's like it's never gonna work. The more you do lower low calorie diet, you're gonna actually uh, slow your metabolism. More your slow metabolism, no matter what you do, you're not going to lose weight. And for the more, there's no way you're gonna maintain your body weight. Unless you eat 900 calories every day, you tell yourself, I'm good enough, I'm gonna eat this rest of my life, then you're fine. But that's almost impossible. So please avoid the low calorie diet. And the last one, this is the study again. So many studies shows about the sleep. It's a quality sleep. They show that actually people sleep under six hours, they increase the ghrelin level, so they gain weight. And then they're looking for food more, they feel hungry even though they ate. After that, what happened, they still need more. Some people, they don't know when to stop eating because your body needs energy because you didn't sleep enough. So make sure that you have enough sleep. Even though you sleep seven hours, the sleep has to be really quality. So that's, you have to manage it. Um, main thing, I really have to tell you this, if you wanna lose weight and then you wanna keep it off that for good, like the rest of your life, you just have to remember three things. Nutrition, number two, sleep, and number three, exercise. Don't reverse exercise and sleep. Sleep is the before exercise. That's what you have to remind. Remember, okay, I'm gonna close this one. Anybody? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this is a very simple today. It's a very, very simple just a webinar. But ghrelin hormone is like it seems nothing, but it plays huge for your metabolism and also weight loss and then maintain that. Because in the end, um, when you eat every day, you don't want to feel deprived and you don't want to feel hungry all the time. And some of my clients, they ate their meal and then after that, they still feel like they need to have something more. So that means your ghrelin level is not balanced. So you have to balance this one first. So you feel satisfied and then you just have to go on. Just to, you don't think about food until the, your meal time comes. That's what you have to do. So thank you for watching this webinar. And if you have any question, please uh, let me know and then please go and apply and then see what happened.
See you next week. Bye.